to No Rules Get Fat, which is my favorite snowboarding platform of all time. Skateboarding, snowboarding, a little bit of both, you know? Uh, definitely something that didn't need to happen. But, you know, I've made it, multiple people play this, so why not have somebody actually speedrunning it, you know? Uh, NPC, luckily, is here to show this beautiful, beautiful No Rules Get Fat game, and I am sending it over to him right now. Best of luck, NPC! Backcorn Dan. Are you there, Corn Dan? Oh. Yeah, being in the couch yeah. would be a smart thing. Yeah, it would. Yeah. Hi, everybody. Oh, are we. Turns out, yeah, that was, that was a fun run. Congratulations, NPC. You did a great job. Uh, oh, looks like we're having the same run by you again. So let's go ahead and jump to that. <laughs> oh, they just wanted to test a little something before we moved on over to that. So NPC, go, don't get fat. Wait, no, do get fat. Please, go get fat. Inflation. Oh wait, it's like Bro Sanch is now um, setting this up. Oh, I guess we're up now. Okay. Alrighty. I have no idea what people are going to expect with no rules get fat. Um, what I'm going to say to everybody watching right now um, is I'm going to read the um, translation at the bottom of all these cutscenes. You all read the top and understand why I cannot read the top part and I am reading the translation. So, um, so I'm gonna get started. And there's one part that if I forget to do something, I am just going to have to use a save state. So, um, let me, uh, let me get started. Jeff, it's time for school. I'm sorry, Mother, but I vastly prefer to watch my favorite animated television series. How odd, this is not my favorite cartoon character. We are aliens from another planet. We believe we are superior. We advise you to flee. Our mission is not to improve your health. I will not stand for this. My name is one Eye Jack. My breakfast cereal has given me the energy to thwart your nefarious plan. What? Say what, dear? Never mind, Mom. I'm going to school, as you instructed. Good, because you white, you're, because of mine, is a terrible thing to waste on cartoons, especially ones about aliens eating people. And now begins the uh, very, very bad game. Um, this is, the first jump is the hardest jump in the game as far as the speedrun goes. I'm going to take two damage boosts and hopefully make this jump. Oh, yes! Oh, man, that is, that is the freaking hardest part of this run, is making that stupid jump. And I, no! No! Ah, I didn't want to start that way. Okay. This is what you're supposed to do. Is you're supposed to jump there. Um, controls of this game are very stupid. I am trying to damage boost through a considerable portion of this game. I'm gonna let that go. Um, oh, come on. Oh wait a sec, that's not what I was supposed to, that's what I was supposed to do and I totally used that at the wrong time. And yay. Oh! Timer doesn't matter. Timer doesn't matter. Timer doesn't matter. This is this is entirely story purposes. And because I took that life, I'm gonna grab this one for safety purposes. Now in these um what I'm gonna call battles. Can they use uh, whoops, did this wrong. 
and there is a considerable amount of stage that I am skipping because we want to go fast. We don't want to get fat, we want to go fast. Okay, got so, that. So let's talk about the plot of this game a little bit while you're killing aliens. Is the whole plot of this game literally that One-Eyed Jack is here to stop aliens from coming in and getting fat? Um, that is the long and short of it, so to speak. <laughs> this isn't a very detailed plot-oriented game. Oh, wait a second, I got... Whoops, I got vulnerability. Um, after every battle, there is a blue or yellow... Whoops, didn't mean to run into that. Um, there is a blue or yellow pickup that I get. Um, blue is invulnerability, and yellow is... Um, uh, yellow stops all enemies. For all purposes, um, you want to have all blues so that you don't have to... Um, so you can just run past stuff. And now we're going into the fun part. Oh, wait a sec. Greetings, Buckethead. Do you have anything to tell me? I'm upset. The aliens appear to enjoy our music, gastronomically speaking. Then I must hurry to Fat Beats or else. Good luck, dear friend. But let's not forget that the main character's name is One-Eyed Jack. Yes, he is. And look out, he's coming back. Uh, um, what's the rest of it? I, I am totally engrossed in this DDR section right now. Oh, oh yeah, the mini games are a DDR thing against the alien. Yeah, and the thing is, you can keep mashing the button until it um you have it goes across there into that box area, um, and you don't have any penalty for it. Uh, th but the thing is, is, after you're done with the arrows, you have to press the A button, or else it will not take damage. The enemy, the uh, boss, will not take damage. So. Yeah, this is the very first boss. He is not hard. And also, the LPs that you've seen me collect, those are your life bar. If you screw up an arrow, then one record gets taken away. Um, generally speaking, I will end every level except for the um, third one with about three or four. I might pick up an extra two on the final stage just for safety because there's one pattern that I have struggled to do for like the longest time. And um... Yeah, I was, I was, I'm sorry for breaking the um... the um... Percentia rap that has sparked the start of No Rules Get Fat Speed Running for me. But we have until level, we can do that at level 4 because level 4 is basically the intro music. Um, alongside uh, the intro music. Well, I, I, if Brocentra wants to come in and um, do the rap for us... Yeah, Brocentra, when we get to level 4, you are inclined to join us so you can do the rap. Okay, we only have one more hit left. But yeah, boss battles are nothing more than DDR. And I mean, I guess I could. <laughs> hey, Brocentia. Hey. You sound a little tired. Okay, hold on, hold on. No, Let's it's this game. It's uh, such a dumb game, okay? Uh, I gotta continue with the story. Darn, the aliens stole my skateboard. And now they plan to eliminate Snoop Nasty. Oh, yeah. <laughs> PJ Butter, your statement defies comprehension. The aliens have invaded Cobut Mountain. They plan to steal the antenna used by the OG channel. If, Snoop, if Snoop Nasty and the Super Homies goes off the air, we'll become miserable children. Then I must continue to offend their sensitive sensibilities with the sound of record scratching. <laughs> this is amazing. Cat scratch fever, oh my gosh. Yeah, basically the only reason I wanted to even do this um, percentage is because of stupid dialogue. It's so bad. Cold butt mountain. Cold butt mountain, yeah. So now we're getting introduced to bears, and they differ from other enemies in that they take three hits as opposed to the two that everybody else usually takes. Oh boy. Yeah. 
and I didn't mean to grab that, oh well. So, um, one of the things I'm going to start doing, oh, well, he wanted to have my name on me. Um, there's going to be some slingshots that I'm going to be collecting. Um, they are blue slingshots. I will not use them until about level four because um, they're going to save a considerable amount of time. Ooh, he's going to let them take and do that. Okay, I am going to be super careful here because this jump terrifies me. <laughs> if you do not understand why you have not played New Rules, get fat. Oh, I this understand. This game is so awful. I don't think you should play this game. Okay. Okay, I, I, okay, I didn't mean to do that, but that works. Yeah, the controls of the skateboards or snowboards or anything defies comprehension. So, and I hit too late on that, so I don't have a uh, inverter ability now. Oh no! Get the checkpoint, and... Okay, I'm gonna do that by accident. I like the... Yeti. Oh shoot, so come well. on! Um, sometimes you can go way faster than the game wants you to, and it will not go down the slope like you want to. Now I'm coming upon the stupidest jumps, and if you've never played this game before, you will not realize how hard that was. It's because such a hard jump. It is. You're, you're likely to just fall off. Yeah, and Some do people it. People try for like half an hour to get that jump. Yeah, and so, yeah, it's just a pain, real, real pain in the butt to try and get that done. And also, oh crap. Yeah, generally I like staying on one side of the screen more than the other. However, because of the snowmobile that appears after defeating four enemies, um, you can't uh, hug one side, so yeah. And yeah, I will gladly tank damage. And that jump is impossible to not um, do without taking damage. I don't know why they designed that that way, but... And I don't know why you can't see... Whoop. Got it. I can't believe I got that. I usually miss that jump. Okay, everybody stay. If anybody has any um, questions about this game, uh, please let me know. I'm just kind of coasting right now. And I don't know what people are asking on stream. Why? I, okay, yeah, I'll go ahead and see what chat says, but why does this even exist? Who made this? People. Oh, okay. That's as best as I can say. And that one jump I did was absolutely terrible. Okay, more storyline. Here's more storyline. Check the aliens plan to modify the antenna into a communications device and transmit a request to their home world for more food. The aliens cannot accomplish their evil goal without, without sustenance, Mac Daddy. What are you going to do? What are you going to do now? I'm going to prevent their interplanetary communication. Oh, yeah. oh boy. Okay, and we do that with more DDR. Just remember that um, you can't get fat on an empty stomach. Quite true. It's true, you know. You gotta fill up. This so guy also... looks like he has issues. Yeah, he. Yeah, he has some chill beats. That's for dang sure. But one thing I was going to say is that the, one of the reasons um, I speedrun this game is um, thanks to Unusual Cook. Um, unusual this it's the stupidest reason, too. Uh, on speedrun.com, he submitted his long play of uh, No Rules Get Fat, like a blind playthrough of the game. And I'm like, that doesn't work for me. That does not work for me in the slightest. So it actually worked for a little bit. Got it to like 50 minutes after like about five playthroughs. And I was like, I can live with that. And then all of a sudden, um, I started getting upset at Mystery Tournament because it's listed in one of their banned games. No Rules Get Fat is listed as being banned for being played in Mystery Tournament. Really? Yes. Really? So I- well, I mean, I can't blame them. I raised a fuss about it and um, 
they decided that they were going to have a one day everybody blind play through No Rules Get Fat. And then all of a sudden everybody decided they were going to post their um post their playthroughs and some girl beat my time of 50 minutes so I had to go back and actually make more speed strats for this game. Oh wow. Yeah. It's so, all Andy's fault, huh? So, so do you have it again? Do you have the record? I do have the record. It can be brought down considerably. So I have like, it's like 36 minutes, but yeah, it can get to 30 minutes. I just need to be a lot more careful. And level three is still one level I'm trying to perfect because it is the epitome of hard to try and do and do fast. Because generally, everything you see me do is basically just run through everything because there's plenty of um, health to get you along the way. Level three is the complete opposite. It doesn't have a lot of places where you can get health along the way. And it has a lot of places to um, do damage. Um, I'm, that's why I was talking about level three right now, because I'm going to have to remember to get all the albums in level three. Okay. More story. Is it safe Ooh. once again, broadcast Snoop, Masty, and the Super Homies? Hooray! Bravo! You are quite tough! Excellent work, young protege. However, I'm willing to wager my valuable dental work. <laughs> My so, dental work? Sorry. <laughs> I'm willing to wager my valuable dental work that the aliens are far from conceding defeat. They still must eat something. Surely they will seek alternative sustenance. The aliens cannot accomplish their, e their evil mission without sustenance. Do you understand? Indeed I do. So tell me, gentlemen, if I you suffered similar pangs, to where would you wander? Underground. Oh, jeez. Okay, this is the hardest level in the game for me, so I'm going to try and concentrate. Please okay. let that... Oh, dang it, that didn't work. Okay, well, I still kind of made it work. Okay, I'm going to be safe a little bit. I'm, I'm going to take... One of the things I have to do is I have to grab all the albums, because um, it gives you the double jump if you grab all of them. Okay. Is that on every level or just this one? Every level past this. And it makes a lot of sections a lot easier. Okay. Does each stage sort of have one of those bonuses where you get an upgrade? Yeah, but all of them generally stink, so. No. Okay. I'm gonna wait for a sec. Oh, dang it! That was waste, wasteful of time. So yeah, I'm grabbing every um, LP. Luckily, they're all along the way except one, and um, I would prefer to grab that one anyway, so. Okay. So yeah, as you've seen, I've taken... Oh, crap. Okay, so he shoots again, I'll just use the burner ability. There. Yeah, I wanted to I love her. clipping through that train. <laughs> I mean, who doesn't like clipping through trains? Okay, Jen, I am actually have a ton of health. That's because I'm being very careful right now. Because you can lose your health very quickly. Here's one of the uh, places I just run through because you have a ton of enemies to just drop and it's not worth it. Oh, yeah. And generally, all the damage is uh, from the steam pipes that come around. Uh, where? Okay, I just did it, so that works. One, two... Okay. Now, that ceiling can damage you, so... Come on. Let, get me up there. Okay. Takes a lot of new players... A long time to figure out that they need to get up there, or figure out how to do it. It's it's tricky. It's a pretty precise jump. Yeah. There's a bit of precise jumping in this game, so... Okay, got through that. 
those aliens are the only ones that don't have a hitbox that deals damage to you. So generally, you want to be able to just... Uh, oh, there we go. Oh, good, I got um, a runner ability. That'll help. Get me through this next area without having to stop. Because if you have to, you have to jump. And jump takes a little bit of time, too, which, because it's not moving at the pace you want to move. Oh, I'm going to try something risky. I don't think you can do it. Nope, never mind. Can't do risky stat. I'm just going to take it safe because I screwed up. I missed a cycle. Yeah, I took this super safe, and I have a ton of health left over. So, this now make me... ridiculous. Seriously, the that, that, that's the game extender right there. That's the section that makes it longer than it really is. Yeah. And so now I got double ollie, so I now have the ability to um, do a double jump if need be. And that's going to come in helpful in just a sec. Okay, more plot. Oh, yeah. Oh, Slick, your unapproved artwork. I wrongly assumed the aliens merely wanted to extract from the sewer that which makes us ill. They want it all, dear friend. They want to adopt our complex culture without making the effort to truly understand and appreciate it. Based on their previous actions, I am not surprised. They seem to believe that they can compromise the quality of our favorite food with no repercussions to their bottom line. I wonder where they intend to match, manufacture such a vile product. I know where, and I shall go there now and eliminate the remnants of their scheme. So now we are on to boss battle number three. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised to have that much health. I'm just going to blaze through level four now because I'm usually a lot more careful with that. Oh, yeah. You've got a lot of health here. But yeah, um, generally, unless I'm being an idiot uh, or I'm playing level five, I will um, lose a this to these bosses. But um, have you guys been actually reading the top section? Yeah, I mean, not a little bit. It, it differs. So, a so you uh, so you understand the reason why I'm not allowed to read that, right? Because you would horribly mangle it? Pretty much. Good. Good, let's keep it that way. <laughs> it's not like I'd mangle it, it's just that I don't have the cred to pull it off. No, you don't. <laughs> totally, as a son of a preacher, you have the um, that sort of cred. No, I only have the uh, cred to write a... What is it with me and skateboard games? I played Sunday Fun Day this morning. Now I'm playing No Rules Get Fat. Hey, IGN gave this game a uh, 3 out of 10. <laughs> and, and don't forget. It comes with the fingerboard. That's about all it's got going for it. I need to find that fingerboard. I need to find it. Don't forget you're also on deck for Back to the Future where you'll also be riding the skateboard. <laughs> Why? Why do I play I mean, these skateboard games? It's just skateboard games all day. Graphics. Decent hand-drawn backgrounds don't really help out the limited character animations and basic scrolling elements. Six. Ooh, they gave sound an eight, though. Definitely the high point of Get That. It's Groovalicious. I mean, I can... I, these are some sick beats. I don't think they are, though. Maybe for the GBA they were, but... I am sure they pushed the limits of their um, controls for the GB or the soft the hardware of the GBA I'm trying to think of the right word there yeah the the gameplay they said I hate fighting the controls and that's all I seemed to be doing during this platformer not so good okay more story oh no greetings we don't need Ju anymore <laughs> greetings Justin what's wrong these aliens are nauseating. They quite literally make me want to vomit. Their skateboarding skills are indeed atrocious. You do not understand, dear friend. I have seen what they eat, and it is quite vile. 
It looks similar to our cherished breakfast cereal. However, its brownish hue is not derived from a tasty chocolate additive. Pardon the metaphor, but these aliens are similar to an inexp inexpensive meal that is difficult to digest. My struggle to cleanse them from my life is not yet complete. This is dumb. <laughs> okay, now we're at this Coco Soul Puppies factory. <laughs> the Coco Soul Puppies? Do they do they inject people's souls into it? Uh, no, this is not a uh, soiling green kind of stuff, so. It is green, though. They are made of people. They just don't inject people into it. And I already oh, okay. forgot the one stat that I... Okay, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Now, the blue... Okay. Okay, the blue... Um... The blue... Whatever they're called. Slingshots. Slingshots, thank you. They do two damage per, so they'll automatically take down an enemy. Okay. Stupid bullet, get out of my way. Yeah, for those who didn't know, you can shoot up in this game. It's not... It's not useful in many places. Just to... No. Justin heard his name, so I just assumed he was part of this. Okay, here's the double jump technique that I hope I can do. Guy, wait. That that yeah. saves that saves a considerable amount of time. Which is good because you know the less time we can spend with this game, the better. Okay, I'm just wasting bullets at this point. Or... Oh! Yeah, oh. No, okay. Whatever. It... That wasn't how it's supposed to go. Oh, what the frick? Come on, game. Let me make a right jump. I'm just wasting all the health I saved. Come on, One-Eyed Jack. Although, no matter what way you're facing, you see his eye. Wait a sec, this is the level that has the rap in it. You have to do the rap, Rosentia. I, I don't know the rap. I don't know the words. Sounds like cop out to me. I uh, yeah, I think you're right. It does. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna grab this health just for safety measures. It's like. Yo, 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 I'm one eye Jack, and you know, I come in back, gonna ride this skateboard uptown, and everybody gonna get down, because you know, I am fat, and I wear a cool hat, that's about it, I'm done, look at my bum. Oh yeah, see, now I don't even have to do it, thank you, NPC. <laughs> that is the Brocentia rap. Just not fight him. Okay, let's Why do... the crap did you go and memorize that? Because it's funny. I'm... Just look at my bum? Yeah, look at my look bum at my is pretty much the answer. You all... Yeah, the... yeah, you have to have something about butts and you know, it's just... It's just so, good. So, statistically speaking, bro, how often do you talk about butts? Because it's a lot. Day. I, I don't think I've... I can't remember the last time I didn't talk about butts. Gonna grab the health. I'm just gonna use the inverter ability for the rest of this section. And we are done with level four. Um, nice. there is there is no story, so we just have to fight the boss. Oh, good. Yeah. Sad, sad, Not saying the boss is better than the story, but <laughs> the Baker alien, <laughs> so cute. Yeah, I just love this. Monster rolling out some dough. Yeah, those legs are definitely something. It's I don't like think they count as legs. They look like, um, yeah, they look like just some blender legs. Could be egg beaters. Could be like tassels on the apron. I don't, I, I don't know. Some aprons have tassels. But 
But now you see the game is getting a little bit more complicated with the DDR section. And like I said, I really doubt I'm going to miss something, but you know, I could be clumsy. There is no doubt that I could definitely be clumsy. So how many more um, aliens do we need to stop from getting fed? Uh, all the aliens in the final level, actually, because the final level is the next level. Oh boy, good. You know, if you're an alien, uh, I suggest stop eating complex carbohydrates, okay? Like, I, I know, they taste good. Welcome to planet Earth. We like eating things that will murder you. So don't follow our tendencies here, aliens. Like, the existence of Taco Bell should be enough, okay? Look at Taco Bell, the little baker alien, and just, just don't do it. Any uh, Utah facts about Taco Bell? Uh, I don't, I don't know. I'm pretty sure that that's where more than 50% of the crimes happen in Utah. <laughs> pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I, I would call that an almost fact. So that's Brasencia's almost fact about Utah. It's not yeah, an official so, fact of Utah. So many taco crimes. I'm a, I don't know. There are so many better places to get burritos, but not for that price. If only aliens learned about getting fat that way, I'm sure that Taco Bell meat is about the same consistency to their alien meat. Oh my gosh. Yeah, aliens, let's go ahead and talk about taco economies real quick. We gotta help you uh, understand the complexities. Are you mostly just trying to insinuate that Taco Bell uses aliens in their meat? No, they use a substance that is most likely alien quality meat. Oh, okay. I, I mean, because that might make sense. Like, all these guys are coming down to get fat. You know, when you kill them, they gotta go somewhere, right? Maybe they go to Taco Bell. Alrighty, more story. You ready for more story? I mean, that does sort of look like some of their green sauce, but they discontinued that green sauce. Okay. That's like... Story time. Okay. You are the creator of my favorite food. Your breakfast concoction appeals to me in a way that tweak tweaks my mother's understanding of urban youth culture. Your, your praise is appreciated, but I have something very important to tell you. The aliens are so intent on understanding urban cult youth culture, they are now planning to, 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 to subject your friends to horrific, horrific medical experiments. Did I hear you correctly? And in their haste to begin, they left behind one of their technologically advanced transportation devices. That's my skateboard. It appears they made some modifications. Please hurry. I am grateful that you have restored my livelihood, but my meager business cannot compete in the marketplace without my dedicated customers. My fictional hero, if faced with a dilemma similar to my own, would not allow his dear friends to be subjected to horrific experiments perpetuated by alien creatures with cruel intentions. Channel your youthful energy into something positive. My, the alien ship looks remarkably like a turntable. If the aliens cannot tolerate the sound of record scratching, I wonder if they, how they could react if their entire ship were scratched. Okay, this is the final level and has some of the hardest platforming in the game, so I might be quiet for some of this. This story is so dumb. <laughs> punk, punk and ship. The, you did, I did not learn a, some text of this game, just so that, you know. Wow, most of this planet is like, for this ship, it's like deformed grapes. And I accidentally skipped a, um, I'm gonna s just switch to the, I'm grabbing a uh, LP that I na normally don't go for because I accidentally skipped the first LP. So that was and my bad. a certain amount of them? I like to have a certain amount just so that I don't screw up the boss battle. Even though this is a pseudo no game, don't do that. Actually, the ship appears to be made out of Taco Bell uh, ingredients. 
And I grabbed that um, safety uh, checkpoint just for uh, safety. Get, oh, get this jump. Oh, yeah, I skipped a few cycles there. Nice. Okay, now we have these big bubbles. Put it down. Okay, now you got another battle. So now I have a ton of blue slingshot just to waste. So I'm gonna go ahead and just get it out of the way. So now I have to write up a bubble. And unless you know where you're going, you're gonna get a little bit lost. And if you go too high, you die, so. Okay, I only have two health. I need to find a checklist or a checkpoint and just die. I can grab that. Okay, I don't have to use check worry about checkpoint now. Sweet. I'm gonna grab that. Okay, that is the last checkpoint of the game. And that jump is uh, something Alpha showed me when I um, when he was doing his blind run. And so I have to credit Alpha 5 for showing that off. Thank you, Alpha. Okay, now this is the hardest section. I'm gonna try and do the hard strategy once. And I'm not even doing that because I skipped the jump. So we're doing normal strats. It's so fast. That skipped one platform. Okay. Yeah, see, if IGN had made it to the final level, they would have known just how awesome this game was. Can't get the stupid jump. Okay, there we go. Okay, now it's just a long stroll to the final bubble, and then as long as it doesn't clip me through that bubble, I should be good. To Is that a typical problem? The bubble's not spawning! Hold on. Bubble? Uh, there we go. Thank you, game. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's never happened before. Well. Okay, so final area. Shot you. Final parts of the storyline. You have okay. disrespected my beloved community, alien leader. We are aliens. We are aliens from another planet. We believe we are superior. Your actions are entirely inappropriate, and your mother is extremely undesirable. Okay, so I have three LPs to do this in, so I can't screw up. So this is the final boss. As you can see, he is a nerdy alien. Wow, what a nerd. Kick the nerd's butt. So if you notice right there, the alien life bar is going down considerably faster than any of the other bosses. That's because, hold on. He's a nerd. Well, that's because the alien has three phases. And each oh. phase is harder than the next, so that's why I have to concentrate a little bit. One of the good things is that if I screw up, it'll just start me back to the boss with three LPs again. Oh, good. Um, if I do this correctly, can I show the game over screen? It's really good. Or if we don't, if we don't have time, it's fine. It just takes a second to get to. Ugh, there are no um, rules. You have time. Okay, one more, one more hit, and then the first phase will be down. Oh, good. Get that nerd. Okay, the nerd is down. Good. And now we have a tougher alien. He looks mean and vicious. Is that the same guy from like the first level? No. But he's laying down the sick uh, gang signs. So yeah. Um, the third phase has the hardest um, arrows, and I keep screwing it up in one section. That's why I'm like trying to be super careful and concentrating right now. Also, the um, he usually has an um, 
Uh, you know, a disc scratching machine, which I can't think of the name of that right now. A uh, record player? Record player turntable. Um, yeah. Uh, if you look, he's using a slot machine. Oh, baby. Because I have no other words for what he is using to uh, use the turntable in there. I mean, it's clearly the alien chip. Okay, second form down, and we have the third and hardest form. Look at all that head he has on there. There's all those spikes. Oh, jeez. He's like Goku. Did he just go Super Saiyan? He just yep. went Super Saiyan. You're just saying he went Super Saiyan. Oh, no, he stole your LP. Okay, I got through this one. I should be safe. But I'm holding caution until, you know, the end. Because we're going to have four more hits and then we're done. It's also... Did I not die, by the way? Oh, no, I did die at the very beginning. I did die at the very beginning. Yeah, you died, like, right off the bat. That was it. <laughs> that was it. It was like, I was expecting death in, like, a bunch more places. And I guess just getting it out of the way kind of, you know, eased it for the rest of the game. Okay, one more. They could have hired an actual animator to do this alien design, but, you know. Well, I mean, instead they hired someone who wants to be a Kira Toriyama. Okay, here we go. And... Time. Sweet! Kabloom! Thank goodness Kabloom. I will not be probed! Outstanding! Jack is our hero! Not only have you defeated the aliens, your actions have modified their ship into an exciting new recreational facility for all of us to enjoy! What will you do now, Jack? Obey my mother's request to get an education! Ha 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 ha! Ha 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 ha! And that is the game. So, right quick, I will go ahead and, um, show the um bad screen of this game which is just gonna be me just running over to the end um and just falling into the uh this the rhubarb or rebarb the rhubarb <laughs> the rhubarb <laughs> no <laughs> that deadly rhubarb the pie <laughs> that rhubarb is always a killer Okay, one more, and then we'll get the bad ending, which I will narrate to Hill for all your enjoyments. Sweet. Continue. No. Should we examine him? No, our instrument suggests that there is nothing to extract from the specimen for now. Oh, I didn't give tight guys time to read the top part. That's the good part. My bad. I am good. way too hasty. I guess we have to do it again. Now nah, we're good. <laughs> now we're good. We are good. So thank you all for watching um, our No Rules Get Fat. And we are all too ready to get started with Back to the Future, aren't we? As far as I know. Alrighty. <laughs> Cut us off. Oh, we're done. I'm streaming. I'm ready. I'm personally thrilled. We, we got some setup to do on this one. Well, I'm, have they already uh, switched over?